This is an ordinary suburban house, and this is the owner of the property, Mrs E Hornstein, about to let herself in after a day at work. She doesn't realise she's about to become a victim of crime. The hustlers are about to steal something very valuable from her. No, it's not her car or her cash. They're going to steal her identity. This is the ID theft hustle. ID theft is one of the fastest growing crimes in this country and globally. In general, what happens is the hustlers get hold of basic bits of information about you. They might get part of your credit card, they might get your national insurance number, anything they can find. Then they use that information to obtain credit, i.e. get loans, credit cards, all in your name. Now, when I say credit, you've got to think about debt, because basically they're mounting debt that you will be responsible for. The hustlers have collected application forms for loans, credit cards and refinance companies. They are furiously applying for credit in Mrs Hornstein's name. But how did they get her details to fill in the forms? Two nights previously, our hustler Paul had the unenviable task of bin rummaging. Under the cover of darkness, Paul finds the alley behind the Mark's house where rubbish is thrown. Having retrieved the bin bags, he starts to perform his dirty deed. He looks for any discarded documents he could use for ID theft. And bingo, it looks like he's hit pay dirt. Two of Mrs Hornstein's utility bills have been discarded amongst the rubbish. Which, as experts will tell you, is a common way to lose out to ID fraud. One of the... The, the ruse is that the criminals use to get hold of this information is to go through your bins. It's, it's not at epidemic levels. I don't want you to think that, um, you know, every day somebody is going through your bins, but it could happen. If you put any bills, any personal details in your dustbin, there are people going around late at night taking your rubbish away. After sending the forms off and waiting two weeks, our hustlers have now received three credit cards with a total credit limit of £10,000 in the Mark's name, Mrs E Hornstein. Rather than spending all this money fraudulently and ruining the Mark's credit rating, Alex and Jess are on their way to confront Mrs Hornstein to demonstrate how shocking this crime really is. They have packed a purse with receipts, documents and the credit cards obtained in her name. At the Mark's address, our hidden cameras watch the action. Hello. Hi, are you um, Mrs Hornstein? Yes. Yeah, just found your wallet outside. Have you? Is, is that not your wallet? <gasps> it's my name, but it's not my stuff. We well, just, just found it on the floor. Outside. Oh, my God, somebody's... <gasps> this is all my name. Are those not your credit They're cards? They're not mine. In fact... Um, How strange. Mrs Hornstein... Uh, be honest with you, we didn't just find it, we actually made it. What? Well, we've also made this. This is a loan taken out in your name for £12,000 and it's been accepted. You've made this? Yeah. Why have you done that then? Can I get a jumper on? <laughs> you want to go inside? No, it's alright, we'll wait for you here. Right. Oh. I'll, show you, I'll show you exactly how we've made things. Um, we use these uh, that we found in your bin. That's got your name, your address. Uh, this is another credit card bill. That's my sloppy husband doing that. <laughs> and that's, I don't uh, throw anything a away. Bank statement as well. Why is he throwing this stuff away? So uh, from that, we yeah. were able to get credit. Three credit cards Three and a loan for twelve thousand so, pounds. Frightening, isn't it? It's terrifying. At least Mrs Hornstein didn't actually lose her money to our hustlers, which is more than can be said for many victims of this worrying crime. Because yeah, I was refused credit, so I wrote to CNN to find out why. And they sent me a long list, and against variations of my name at my old place, where I'd lived before, previously, um, there was about five or six thousand pounds worth of debt. Because these people that had moved into my flat had actually used my name to open up different accounts. I opened up um, Harrods account, an Avon account, Grattan's, Freeman's, all the electrical places, and um, they actually got about five or six thousand pounds worth of goods under my name. That I felt like a criminal. 
when, when this guy came out and said, you know, you've been refused credit, sort of thing, I sort of said, well, why? Because I knew I wasn't in debt. And, um, you know, so I, I felt embarrassed and ashamed, really. You have to be very careful with your own information. If you throw away that slip at the top of a checkbook, that has everything they need to get your bank information from it. The best way to protect yourself against this scam is to shred absolutely everything. Documents, letters, statements, bills. Never throw anything away because someone could easily go into your bin and take it like we did. Yeah, well, so I did. <laughs>